Greetings, curious minds. Welcome to Brainytainment, your go-to channel for insightful knowledge on a variety of topics. Here at Brainytainment, we traverse the realms of health, science, technology, history, and much more. Our mission? To morph education into entertainment, making learning not just an obligation, but a delight. We're all about feeding your curiosity, expanding your horizons, and satisfying your intellectual appetite. So buckle up, folks. In today's video, we will dive into the intriguing world of food, specifically the sweet world of sugar. Sugar, that sweet, delightful substance that we all have a love-hate relationship with. The story of sugar is a fascinating journey that starts in the tropical rainforests of New Guinea, where it was first discovered. The early inhabitants of New Guinea stumbled upon sugarcane, a grass that, when chewed, released a sweet taste. This was the first encounter of humankind with this delightful substance. The cultivation of sugar then moved to India. The Indians, known for their prowess in farming, were the first to master the art of extracting juice from the cane, boiling it, and turning it into granulated crystals we now recognize as sugar. This was a significant leap from chewing on raw sugar cane. From India, sugar started its global journey. It was the Arab traders who introduced sugar to the rest of the world. They carried it along the famous Silk Road, making stops at various Middle Eastern and Mediterranean ports. This was the beginning of the global love affair with sugar. But it wasn't until the Industrial Revolution that sugar became a household staple. The Industrial Revolution brought about advancements in technology and, with it, the ability to produce sugar on a large scale. Sugar factories started popping up across Europe and America, making sugar more affordable and accessible. It was no longer a luxury for the wealthy, but a common ingredient in every kitchen. The rise of the baking and confectionery industries during this period further cemented sugar's place in our diets. Pastries, cakes, candies and all sorts of sweet treats became commonplace and, with them, the consumption of sugar skyrocketed. And that, dear viewers, is how sugar, once a luxury, became a common ingredient in our pantries. This journey of sugar from a rare tropical grass to a global kitchen staple is a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable love for all things sweet. Yet, as we will discover in the next scenes, this love affair with sugar has not been without its consequences. Now that we have a bit of history, let's delve into why sugar is so prevalent in our foods. Sugar, this sweet substance that we often find ourselves craving, is not just a simple treat. It's a versatile ingredient that has found its way into a vast array of our foods, and there are a few key reasons for this. Firstly, sugar is a natural preservative. This means it can help extend the shelf life of foods, making it a valuable asset for food manufacturers. From jams and jellies to baked goods and canned fruits, sugar helps keep these items from spoiling too quickly. This isn't a modern revelation either. Our ancestors used sugar as a preservative long before refrigeration was a thing. Next, let's talk about taste. Sugar enhances the flavors of food. It can balance out acidic or bitter flavors, making dishes more palatable. It's also key in creating that beloved brown and look and taste in baked goods. It's no wonder then that sugar is a star player in the culinary world, but it's not just in our desserts. You'd be surprised to find sugar in foods like bread, sauces, and even your favorite savory snacks. Now, here's where it gets a bit tricky. Sugar is addictive. It triggers the release of dopamine in our brains, the same chemical that's associated with pleasure and reward. This makes us want to consume more of it. Food manufacturers are well aware of this and use sugar to keep us coming back for more. Lastly, sugar is cheap. In an era of mass production and cost cutting, using sugar is an effective way for manufacturers to make food more appealing without breaking the bank. This, coupled with its preservative properties and addictive nature, makes it a go-to ingredient for the food industry. But here's the rub. While sugar makes our foods taste better and last longer and even makes us feel good when we consume it, it's not without its drawbacks. Excessive sugar consumption is linked to a host of health issues from obesity to heart disease, diabetes to tooth decay. So while we enjoy the sweetness that sugar brings, it's important to be mindful of its presence in our foods and the potential impact on our health. It's a classic case of too much of a good thing. So it seems sugar's ubiquity in our food is a mix of history, economics and biology. As we move forward, it's up to us to make informed choices about our sugar consumption, taking into account not just the immediate gratification it provides, but also the long-term implications for our health. But as we know, sugar isn't exactly the healthiest ingredient. 
As sweet as it may be, sugar can often come with a bitter aftertaste. Consuming sugar in moderation is perfectly fine, but when it crosses into the realm of excess, that's when problems begin to surface. Sugar can be a double-edged sword, offering us tantalizing tastes on one hand while potentially jeopardizing our health on the other. Let's look at obesity, for instance. It's no secret that there's a direct correlation between high sugar intake and an increased risk of obesity. Sugar-laden foods and drinks often pack a high caloric punch, but provide very little in terms of nutritional value. This can lead to weight gain and, over time, obesity. And then there's diabetes. Overconsumption of sugar can lead to insulin resistance, a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. When our bodies become resistant to insulin, our blood sugar levels rise, which can, over time, wreak havoc on our health. But it doesn't stop there. Heart disease, the leading cause of death globally, has also been linked to high sugar consumption. Excessive sugar can lead to weight gain, high blood pressure and inflammation, all of which are risk factors for heart disease. Moreover, sugar can also have negative effects on our dental health, leading to cavities and tooth decay. It can affect our skin, potentially accelerating the aging process. It can even affect our mood, with studies suggesting a link between high sugar diets and depression. So, while sugar may make our favorite treats taste oh so delicious, it's important to remember that it's not without its downsides. It's a balancing act, really. Enjoying the sweet things in life while also being mindful of our health and well-being. For all its sweetness, sugar also carries a bitter truth. It can lead to serious health issues if not consumed in moderation. It's not about completely eliminating sugar from our diets, but rather about understanding its impacts and making informed choices about our consumption. It's clear then that while sugar may make our foods taste better, it's not without its drawbacks. Well, we've certainly covered a lot of ground today. We journeyed back in time to the origins of sugar, from its humble beginnings as a luxury good in ancient times, to its transformation into a household staple in the modern era. We ventured through the sugar plantations of the Caribbean to the sugar factories of Europe, witnessing the sweet substances rise to global prominence. We explored how sugar, with its irresistible sweetness, has weaved its way into the fabric of our food system. From breakfast cereals to pasta sauces, sugar has become an omnipresent ingredient lurking in the most unexpected of places. We delved into the reasons behind this sweet invasion, uncovering a tale of taste, preservation and economics. But our journey didn't stop there. We also examined the darker side of sugar. We learned how this sweet substance, so beloved and ubiquitous, can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it provides quick energy and enhances the flavor of foods. On the other, excessive consumption can lead to a host of health problems, including obesity, type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Along the way, we discovered the power of knowledge. We realized that understanding why sugar is added to all foods is the first step towards making informed food choices. We learned that we have the power to control our sugar intake, to choose foods that nourish our bodies and sustain our health. And while we've reached the end of our sweet journey today, the exploration doesn't have to stop here. There's always more to learn, more to discover, more to understand about the world around us. So, let's continue to ask questions, to seek answers, to challenge assumptions. Let's continue to feed our curiosity, to nourish our minds, to expand our horizons. Remember, knowledge is power. So, the next time you reach for that sugary snack, think about what you've learned today. And don't forget to subscribe to Brainytainment for more intriguing insights. Until next time, stay curious.